Hey everyone, my name is Brady Talbert and I'm the student news director here at Troy Trojan Vision News, Troy University's daily television newscast. As a student journalist myself, I'm really eager to give you some tips on how to make your school's newscast even more professional through creating television news packages. Here's my top three tips. First things first, we need to write our stories so everyone can clearly understand them. Remember, you have roughly 1 minute and 30 seconds to tell your TV news story, so make it count by hitting the high points in your writing. This isn't a newspaper article, so let's write conversationally. Instead of saying, Troy University's upper administration voted to freeze undergraduate and graduate tuition for the second straight year, you could more easily say, Troy University says it's freezing tuition again. We want to write concisely, but still leave in the important information. If you feel like you sound like a robot reading your script, try to rework it. Remember how people actually talk. All right, let's talk video, something you're probably waiting for. So we want to make sure that our video matches what we're telling our audience, but we also want it to show something new. When you're editing your story, put video that goes along with what you're telling your viewer. If you say boat, show a boat. This will strongly reinforce your writing. Here's a story I did on a lake here in Troy that drained after a storm broke a dam that was holding in its water. Notice how what I say matches the video. It, it got pretty high, let's just put it that way. Jerry Williams has lived here for 14 years. When he heard the storm was coming, he strapped down his boat. His pontoon remains, but others weren't as lucky. Also take the camera where it may be hard for the viewer's eye to actually go. After you show a wide shot, let's show a tight zoomed in shot. Here, I wanted the viewers to see the lake bottom up close and personal, even if I had to get a little muddy to accomplish this. My third and final tip is to get creative with your stand-up, so whenever you, the reporter, are on camera. Typically, we want to show the viewer something through filming these stand-ups, so you gotta think of something creative, clever, and intriguing. Now, previously, drivers could speed down Luther Drive, but now there's a four-inch speed table in the way in an effort to slow them down, a move that the university says will keep students and pedestrians safer. If I were standing in this exact spot a week ago, my head would have easily been underwater, but now you can see the lake bottom is caked in mud. My feet are easily two feet within the soil, and some people's boats are completely gone. Each kit contains the supplies necessary to help fight the spread of COVID-19, on campus and can contain masks, wipes, and spray bottles for both hands and hard surfaces. Now remember, your stand-up should add to your story. I hope these tips help you out. Remember, a good reporter writes clearly, shows the audience exactly what they're talking about, and is always coming up with new and interesting ways to tell stories. Best of luck out there. For Troy Trojan Vision News, I'm Brady Talbert.